If your tractor does not start and there is enough fresh gas in the tractor, the following checks should be performed prior to checking the battery. First, determine if the key was left in the on position. A fully charged battery can discharge within 25 hours when the key is left in the on or ROS position. Next, make sure the mower engagement lever is disengaged. If the lever is engaged, the circuit to start the engine will not function. Tractors with an electric clutch will have a PTO switch. This switch engages an electric clutch which engages the mower belt. It needs to be in the off position for the start circuit to close and crank the engine. The foot pedal must also be fully depressed to complete the circuit that starts the engine. We suggest engaging the parking brake to hold the foot pedal in the correct position. If correcting these basic steps has not started the tractor, the next step is to check the battery. Prior to working with the battery, it is very important to review and understand the content printed on the battery warning label. Warning. Do not short the battery terminals by allowing a wrench or any object to contact the positive terminal to the negative terminal or to a metallic chassis ground. Additionally, before connecting the battery, remove any jewelry you may be wearing. First, check the battery connections. Check to ensure that both battery cables are tight. If the cable eyelet will not rotate against the battery terminal, then the battery bolts are tight enough. If not, tighten the bolts. If you see corrosion on or around the battery terminals or rust on the eyelets on the ends of the battery cables, the connections need to be cleaned. Always remember to put on protective eyewear and gloves before working on the battery. To clean the connections, disconnect the battery cables from the battery. Always remove the black cable from the negative post first. Place the black cable where it cannot make accidental contact to either battery terminal. Then, remove the red cable from the positive battery terminal. Use a steel brush, steel wool, or sandpaper to clean the battery terminals and the battery cable ends. The cable ends and battery terminals should be free of corrosion when you are done. After cleaning, reconnect the battery cables. Connect the red cable to the positive terminal first. Make sure the positive battery terminal bolt is tight, remembering that if the cable eyelet will not rotate against the battery terminal, it is tight enough. Next, connect the black battery cable to the negative terminal. Now, you should attempt to start the tractor. If the tractor starts successfully, the problem has been corrected. If the tractor still does not start, charge the battery. To find the right part for this and other do-it-yourself repairs, visit SearsPartsDirect.com or call Sears Parts Direct toll-free at 1-888-206-3622. If you prefer to have a technician complete this repair, you can schedule service by calling 1-800-349-5072.